It's really important that software and apps are kept up to date. And this helps us make sure they're not vulnerable to new or existing threats, and also helps us get the best out of them. With Windows devices, it's hard to get any better tool for doing that than Patch My PC, but for Mac OS, well, I've not seen anything out there yet. Until today. Well, recently. I'm working with a customer who wants to keep their Macs up to date, and they were told about Mac Updata by Core Code. And so, here we are. I'm going to look at Core Code and Mac Updata and see how or if it works. Jump in. Here's the website for Mac Updata version 3.2, and I've gone ahead and looked at it in a little bit more detail, and the pricing suggests that we need the business or pro version in order to do any kind of remote management of this application. So I've gone ahead and purchased the pro version because if I purchase the business version, which is what I would prefer to do, then I'd need to fill out a form and they will send an, e send an email to me. So it's not going to work right now for making this video this weekend. However, I have downloaded it and that's how you make the purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and open it now for you and just show you what we get. We essentially get this list of applications are, that are outdated. Uh, and this list of applications that are up to date, which is great. And we can show the outdated apps, and that's the ones that I really need to focus on for this video to upgrade these. Now you can see that some of them have a built-in updater, so you can choose open updater. Some of them have upgrade, and some of them have update. So there's a slight difference there, but it depends on whether the um, application is seen to be a major upgrade, or if it's just a, a slight version update that, it, that we that we have. So you can see here the upgrade um, the upgrade button would change us from version 73 to version 80 and in contrast we have update which is Elgato for, for, for instance going from version 1.4 to 1.5 which is just a small minor update. Okay so it will update my application. I've tested that right now. It will update the Elgato control center um, just quit that, get it to update for us. There you go. And Steam Deck, Stream Deck. Steam Deck is a different type of um, application, well, hardware. Uh, but it won't update OBS for me right now because I'm running OBS. In, well, that's how you're seeing my face, for example. So I don't want it to update OBS right now. Uh, VMware Fusion, you know, I could tell it to update that. Zwift, I'm not going to do Zwift just now because I want to see if we can update that remotely via Intune in the future. On to that point, this application seems to work great when you're running it standalone and I'm clicking the button and, and doing that. But what I want to be able to do, as I've just alluded to, is install this application and then tell it to update my, um, my Mac software on all of my Mac devices remotely, as you would in a normal business with something like Patch My PC. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure out how that works. Now I've purchased the Pro version, which means I've got access to the command line tool. So where is that? Well, let's open Terminal. And in Terminal, we can head to um, this location here, let's run that. And it shows us the list of applications that are, that's expanded far too far, you don't need it. I don't need it on my entire widescreen. This will do just here. So there is the list of applications. Let me just get that back to there. Okay. So we can also um, ignore. Oops. Up to date apps, and so no. Nope, hang on. Hide up to date apps, not ignore. Hide up to date apps. And there's the list of apps that need to be updated according to the command line tool that I ran just now. So if I want to make it um, scan, I'll just do a scan right now because I've updated a few of those apps as you saw. So we'll choose scan. And then we'll just do list again. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have figured out that I've updated um, a couple of those apps. Never mind. So, can I make it begin updating these outdated apps remotely? Let's take a look at how we could do that. This is the list function, and if I show you, um, if I just type something wrong, it'll give me the help again. 
So we have the ability to update and choose quiet. So I'm going to go with update. I'm not going to go quiet because I want to see what it actually does. And there it goes away and can't update Descript because it's running. Can't do the beta because it's running. I can't see it running, but never mind. Uh, OBS, same, it can't do. Proton VPN, it's going to go ahead and try and update. And um, I thought Proton was a major update, so it shouldn't do that. Maybe I should. Maybe that's why it's not working right now. Anyway, it's probably going ahead and updating Proton VPN right now for me. The point is that with one command, I was able to tell it to update these applications. So next, I'm going to figure out if I can get this to run via an Intune script once the application's been installed, because that would allow us to well, to do what Patch My PC does almost, but not, not in anywhere near as good a fashion. So give me a little while. I'll come back and we'll see how it works. See you next time. Oh, if you have any experience of doing this, please get in touch. Please let me know because I'm going to have to figure all this out by myself. My Google foo is going to be off the chart to get this off the ground right now. I might even see if ChatGPT can help me. So if you do have any idea how this works and how we can get it to run via Intune, please just reach out. I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, and, and on YouTube. Please let me know if you can help. See you next time.